All right, hey, welcome back, everybody. Um, just waiting for some traffic to clear out here. All right, and that person turned, so we're good to go. Hey, let's go for a spin in this 94 F-150. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, go through some of the options with you, just so that you know everything works. Um, power windows, driver's side, passenger side. Power locks on both sides work. Over on that side. One thing I really want to uh, hammer home with this pickup truck is how quiet it is. For having 96,000 miles, I mean, which are really low miles, but sometimes, you know, around this time, vehicles start to need different suspension parts and things like that. This truck is nice and tight. It is ridiculously windy today in Wisconsin. Um, they're talking gusts up to 30, 35 miles an hour. So we are going to likely have a little wind noise as we take it up on the highway, but um, it's pretty much unavoidable today. I think I think even uh, our 2018 at home would have a little bit of road noise too. Um, things to point out, notice that there is an aftermarket radio uh, in the truck. It does work and uh, does have a CD player in it. Super, super common because factory CD players are incredibly rare uh, in these trucks. Oh, you know what? I... Uh, I disconnected the battery and uh, lost all my programs. It just there we go. Oh yeah, listen to this. But yeah, radio works, gang. Uh, vents work. Let's go through those speeds quick. Air blows ice cold. You know what I didn't bring along was my thermometer. Look, if anybody is like really wants to like see a temperature, give me a, a buzz and I'll send you a separate video. Okay. That was something I really wanted you to listen to, was you don't even hear this truck shift into overdrive. Um, sometimes that can be a little bit of an issue um, with some of these F-150s that, that final torque converter lockout can be a little abrupt. Um, something that's kind of, you know, kind of known on these, but no issues at all uh, with that, with this truck. And it, man, it's so, so smooth doing about 60 miles an hour here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the cruise control. Turn it on there. Set Excel. Take my foot off. Notice we're holding at 60. So that operates. Horn works. Um, oh, both fuel tanks operate well. Currently on the front tank. Sorry, I'm just trying to pay attention here. Uh, switch to the rear. Uh, looks like both fuel gauges operate. Hey, some of you may have noticed uh, there is an airbag code that is flashing. What that means is that currently the driver's side airbag is inoperable. It's a uh, code 12. I'll tell you what, I'll look that up. Um, before I get the listing, and I'll make sure I put it in the listing what a code 12 is. Uh, I think I think that's a clock. Um, come on, you guys are saying it at home right now. Uh, a clock spring is what I think a 12 is. 
Um, super common. I know that because I've replaced a gazillion of them over the years. Um, look, I'm going to be totally upfront. I had to wait about two weeks to get a clock spring. Um, I looked up a few odds and ends, you know, just to restock. And uh, shipping is taking forever on parts right now. So I just held off and thought, man, I don't even know if people are going to care if, if that, you know, is happening. Uh, one other thing is the, uh, the overdrive button does operate. We're currently in overdrive. When I press that button, it'll kick us out. You'll hear the engine RPMs go up. I wish we had a tack, because you could see that then. But now she shifted back into overdrive. Let's go ahead and let's turn the air on. So much of this stuff is by feel. Like, as soon as I turn the air on, you can hear the compressor kick in. Again, I know you can't feel it, but the air coming out is tremendously colder than the outside air today. Um, again, if anybody wants a, a separate video with a thermometer in the vent, uh, just let me know. This is an R134 uh, vehicle, so you don't have to worry about trying to get R12 or anything like that. Turn that off. All right, gang, what else am I forgetting here? I think that's it. Tell you what, uh, I'm gonna spin around, accelerate with you, and then tell you a little bit about some of the uh, parts that have been recently replaced on the truck. Talk to you soon.